<laughs> Good morning. A couple more. There we come, there we come. Good morning. Good morning. Are you going to hide way back there? It's, it's not going to work because we're going to do, we're going to do something that's going to take, cause standing, okay? We're going to play a really quick, simple game that you all know that's called Simon Says. You know that game, right? Okay, so Simon Says Stand Up, right? Simon Says Sit Down. Simon Says Stand Up. Simon Says Sit Down. Stand Up. Oh, close. I don't know. I don't know. Simon Says Sit Down. Oh, you're already doing that. Simon Says Stand Up. Simon Says Turn in a Circle. Simon Says Pat Your Belly. Simon Says Run in Place. Stop. Oh! <laughs> okay, Simon says sit down. <laughs> oh. Now what would happen if instead of just having one leader, one person do Simon says, what if everyone was Simon? What if I was like, Simon says sit down, and then you were like, Simon says stand up, and you were like, Simon says lay down, and you are like, Simon says run all over the place. No one would know what to do, right? You wouldn't know who to listen to. In real life, we have to learn who to listen to and who not to listen to. Like, for example, if one of your friends said, it's time for recess, let's go outside, but the teacher didn't say it was time for recess, would you listen to your friend? No, why not? Yeah, right? They're not, they're not the ones who... Who are the ones you listen to for that thing, is it? You listen for your teachers to tell you when it's time to go to recess. Can you name some other people we listen to? Because like our teachers, we trust them to know what the right thing is. You listen to your parents. You listen to God. Yeah, we can trust God to know what the right thing is. Yep, what else? Yeah, God and Jesus. Can you think of anyone else that we listen to because we can trust them? Grandparents, yep. Anyone in your family, including your sister? <laughs> Maybe not your sister. Oh, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, so that's right. There, there are some situations where you can trust your friends. They may, you might not be able to rely on them to tell you when recess is, but there's other things you can rely on them for, isn't it? There's times you can listen to them. In today's story, Jesus is out in the desert, and Satan is trying to play a game of Simon Says with him. Mm -hmm. He's trying to see who Jesus is going to listen to, and he's telling Jesus to do things to see if Jesus will listen to him instead. But you know who Jesus trusts, right? You already said it. Yeah, Jesus trusts God. I wonder... When there are lots of people telling us lots of different things and we don't know which voice to listen to, whose voice can we always trust to tell us the right thing? Yeah, yeah. that's what Jesus did too, right? Yep. Jesus said, God is always the voice I can listen to, no matter what. And that's pretty cool, yeah? So we say a prayer? God, when Simon says, but we know Simon is wrong, we're glad we can trust you to always be right. Amen. Thank you guys for coming up. Simon says you can go back to your seats. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Be sure to like if you heard good news and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest message. Peace be with you.